Hi, and welcome to PowerEgg. I'm Nadim, and for this video, we will look at clustering data into percentiles and using this to show data density points. We will try to find the best way of giving the user insights into what data points are in what performance group and in what quantity. For this, we have set up a Contoso database and a local SQL server and have Power BI Desktop installed. Let's have a look at how we can accomplish some great clustering reporting. All right, we will be building the following report. It's a clustered chart. We have percentile groups for data points where we can see at the bottom the profit margin percentage and the total cost of the product. Uh, each of this data point is one product. So with, with a mouse over, we can see uh, drill more into the data and see the profit margin, the total cost, and in what percentile it is categorized. At the bottom, we have a slicer where we can select the percentiles and drill more into the data points. Okay, what we need for this report. First, we need the measures. These are our base measures and our percentile measures. Then we will create our calculated columns, which is the profit margin, the percentile category. And then we will do the visuals, which is the scatter chart, a percentile slicer, and finally, a tooltip. Let's get started with our measures and columns. Our measures will be our base measures, which will be the total cost, and our percentile measures. Then we have our calculated columns, the profit margin, and the percentile category. All right, here we are in Power BI. So let's go to the Contoso product um, table, right click it, create a new column. We'll create our base column, which is our profit margin. Hit enter. And there we have our first column, which is the profit margin. Next, we will create our percentile measures. So let's go to our measure table, create a new measure. And I've already prepared the DAX code for us for the fifth percentile uh, profit margin measure. And it will uh, calculate the top 5% of the profit margin uh, for the entire Contoso product table. And it is important that we have the all statement um, so that the entire table is used as a calculation basis. Now we have to repeat this process for all the measures for the percentiles we want, which is the 5th, the 20th, um, the 20th, the 50th, the 70th, and finally, the whoops, 95th percentile. Perfect, so we have all our base measures. Uh, so let's go ahead and create the calculated column we need for our category, percentile category. This is again a prepared DAX statement. So let's go to the product table, click new column, <clears throat> and I will just copy paste this. This is a switch statement with a true condition. If the Contoso profit margin column um, is below the fifth percentile profit margin, then um, categorize it as the fifth percentile. And if it's uh, bigger than the fifth percentile and below the 20th percentile, we have the fifth to 20th percentile, 20th to 50th, and so on. For our final step, we have our visuals and tooltip. The visuals we create is the scatter chart and the percentile slicer. And then we have the tooltip. Okay, back in Power BI, let's have a look at what we created. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot to show before the total cost. The total cost is just the sum of the Contoso sales. And again, we have our percentile measures and we have our columns that we need. All right, so let's create the scatter chart. We will click on it. Um, I've already um, added the scatter chart visual. And let's uh, let us value the product name. The percentile category is a legend. As the x axis, the profit margin, and as a um, y axis, the cost. 
Wonderful, and we can see that um, I've already formatted this at the previous version. So let's have a look how I did this. Let's go to the markers. And we can see that I formatted this for borders only, um, so that when the data points intercollide, and it's a very small size, um, they will show the density of the data points, areas. Yes, and then we have a, sl uh, a zoom slider we added, yeah, on the y-axis and x-axis. And the user can therefore have a good look at a certain area. Next, we will create the percentile slicer. So we have here a slicer that is formatted um, to vertical so that we have a button style slicer. So let's add the category and I've already formatted this as well so that it looks decent. And now the user can select certain percentiles. All right. Now the last thing we need is our tooltip. So let's go click our tooltip. I've sized this. I've added a table to the entire image so that it doesn't um, have too much, take too much space. So let's add our product name and our profit margin. What percentile category it is in, what the total cost is. That should be enough for this case. And we have made sure that the um, the page information is allow as tooltip. Yes, and we go back to the chart. Go to formatting. Go to general uh, tooltips on report page clustering data tooltip. And now, if the user goes on a data point. Uh, as a user, you will see all the necessary information for it because it's just students on the chart. Okay, lovely. Now we have a report where we have clustered information and we can see what areas need to be looked at for business purposes. For example, up here with a high cost and a very low um, uh, profit margin. And as said before, we can drill, have a look at the products, see which ones are the real outliers and analyze them further if needed. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.